Is Guitar Hero World Tour a rip off of Rock Band, or is Rock Band really a rip off of Guitar Hero? Hi, I'm Leah, and I'm a gamer girl. The Guitar Hero series is published by Red Octane in partnership with Activision. The first Guitar Hero was released in November 2005 and was developed by Harmonix. It was inspired by the arcade game Guitar Freaks, which was released in 1999. Guitar Hero had 47 games and has sold about 1.5 million copies to date. Guitar Hero 2 was released for PS2 in 2006 and was later released for Xbox 360 in April 2007. With its improved multiplayer gameplay, it became the fifth best-selling video game in 2006. About 3 million copies have been sold. Guitar Hero Encore Rocks the 80s was released in July 2007 and was the final video game in the Guitar Hero series to be developed by Harmonix. This is where things start to go to hell. Red Octane was bought out by Activision and three months later it was announced that Harmonix would be bought out by MTV Networks. That means Harmonix would no longer be developing the Guitar Hero series. Instead, Neversoft would, part of Activision. And in 2007, Harmonix and MTV Games released dun -dun -dun -dun, Rock Band through EA Games. Later, in 2007, Neversoft released Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock for PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, Wii, PC, and Mac. On April 21, 2008, it was announced they'd be branching off into other instruments, including vocals. Then, on October 26, Guitar Hero World Tour was released for PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii. The game also includes drums. In other words, the two companies that had originally made the Guitar Hero series split into two different companies, well, were bought out by two different companies. So who came up with the great idea of putting in other instruments besides just guitars? Um, what do you guys think of it? Do you prefer Rock Band or Guitar Hero World Tours? Do you prefer, or do you prefer the original Guitar Heroes? Personally, I think Guitar Hero is a sellout. They have so many different branches of it now. You can play it on your cell phone. They have it for DS. Hell, you can even get them in your cereal boxes. They're giving away little toys of them. So, anyway, other news. Today, I got Left for Dead. So, you can guess what you guys will be hearing about later this week. So far, it's almost orgasm worthy. I've only played it for a couple hours though. So, once I get a bit more into the game, I'll let you guys know what it's like. And until then, 